students! Welcome to class! Oh, dance break! Everybody up! Come on, Darman! It's only a minute! There's no excuse for animal abuse. Not religion, not an eating disorder, not peer pressure, not your monetary status. Don't eat animals, don't buy their bodies, don't steal their milk, their blood, or their honey. Don't wear their fur or their feathers. It is only by the grace of God that you are not in their skin. Each time you see a public display of meat, dairy, stolen eggs, or fur in an ad, give it the middle finger. Each time you see an animal suffering, run to help as if you were the victim. Each time it's time to eat, ask for and choose the vegan option. Don't be a bully to vegan children or anyone who has compassion for the animals. Heaven awaits those who do their part with a compassionate heart. Every vegan started out like you thinking they could never be vegan. It was a crazy thing to do and yet here they are, 100% vegan, speaking out on behalf of the victims all over the world. Never think that you can't be an ethical animal rights activist because not only can you do it, but it's also your moral duty and your destiny. Be brave, be better, be vegan, be loved, and start now. I'm Miss Katie, the vegan teacher. I am here situated in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and I am on the internet for one reason only. That is because I want to change the world and I want to stop the suffering of so many animals. So I'm looking at different channels all the time to see if I can reach famous people so that if I can get in touch with them and teach them why veganism is a moral imperative, that hopefully this will trickle down to the rest of their audience. Now, I've done several videos about Darman, and today we're going to do another one. This time, it was very interesting. I was watching his channel, and I saw him make an attempt at becoming vegan. But he's all mixed up. He's really on the absolute wrong path, even though he thinks he's on the right path. But anyway, we're going to set him straight. Love animals. All right, so I watched this video already, but I'm gonna show it to you guys anyway, but I'm not gonna go at the beginning because it's gonna be too long. So I'm just gonna start in the middle and just tell you basically what's going on. For those of you who don't know Darman, he's a, somebody who creates all these little short videos. They're about 10, 15, 20 minutes long. And there's stories about people who are mean and then people who are trying to be nice. And you know, he always has a good moral in it even though the acting is meh and the, the stories are kind of hokey sometimes. But anyway, the main thing I want to do is I want to show you his video so that you will understand what's going on here and what, what I'm thinking about. And you guys let me know, you vegans out there, if you agree with me, because I know you will if you're real ethical vegans. And essentially the message is that vegetarianism is not good enough. And he's sort of trying to indicate that he's going to be vegetarian through his characters and that they are the good people. But let's watch together and you'll see what I mean. So it starts off, this is the plumber. He's the bad guy. And this young lady on the side, she is the student plumber and she's the good one. And essentially he is trying to steal money from different people. He thinks they're rich and he says, you know, he jacks up the prices of different things. And she's kind of nice and she's trying to say, hey, this isn't right. So let's have a look a bit. What'd you say was ruined already? And that you never found the switch under the disposal. No, you gotta stop scamming this woman. I'm serious, Randy. I will tell the owner of the company. <laughs> Ron? Do you have any idea how much money I've made him over these years? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. And what have you brought in? Not a single penny. When he finds out what you've been doing, it won't matter how much you've brought in. Oh yeah? And who do you think he's gonna believe? Your supervisor? Or a little girl in training? I'll take care of this. I go to the yard and make sure to find something wrong with the leak. Oh, be quiet. All right, so there she's trying to stand up to her boss. And um, now look what's in his bag. Do the trick. Hey, is it uh, working yet? Keep sneaking up on me, man. Yeah, well. So this is the, uh, the, the owner's son. And he's uh, checking on him to see what's going on. My mom keeps on asking if it's done, so... Well, look, I'm gonna be honest with you, kid. Things are looking terrible. Your garbage disposal's all jacked up. Liar. Plus, there's a bunch of gun kicked up in the pipes. Liar. Let her know that I'll have to replace everything under the sink. Liar. What are these eggs for? 
Uh-oh. Those, uh, you see, egg yolk can help clear up your pipes. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, first of all, he's lying, and we know that's just terrible in general, what he's doing, trying to rip these people off. But second of all, Darman is now showing these eggs, and he's not got any message in here about how using animal products is just wrong in general. The egg industry is just a cycle of misery. They lie to you endlessly. Don't buy eggs. Walk away. Go to egg-truth.com today. The egg industry is just a cycle of misery. They lie to you. Okay, right. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just let her know. Okay, so he's lying and pretending that putting these eggs in the drain is gonna somehow help. But he's actually just trying to dump the shells down there to actually break the carburetor even more. What a terrible person. Ugh. Hmm. Love me some good old bacon grease. What? Like, oh no! Ugh. It just kills me. More animal products being used as if they're just objects. These are animal body parts. Bacon grease comes from... Oh, here. Look. A six-month-old baby pig. That's where that comes from. Baby pigs have a right to live. But what we do is we breed them into existence. That means we sexually assault the mothers, force them to be pregnant, and then steal their babies and kill them after six months. That's what bacon is. And so the fact that he's got this in his video is kind of like disappointing. And yet, watch what he does later. Here's the young lady who's good. Looks like a whole roof replacement to me. Randy? Up here. Liar. Yeah, this is in really bad shape. I'm shocked the whole roof hasn't collapsed yet. I was just up there. The whole roof is fine. Wait, here she comes. If you want me to sign off on your hours, go wait in the car. Despicable. Now! Despicable hate people like that. Oh, here's the mom. How's she it owns going? The house. Hey, good thing you're home. I just gave you a complimentary full roof inspection. It's not looking good. But I didn't ask for an inspection uh, or... Roof a leaks, main line leak, garbage disposal replacement. Liar. Plus a new set of pipes for the bathroom. Liar. It's time, materials, it all comes out to... Ooh, nice handwriting though. All comes out to what? What? $18,000? What? But I called you over to fix a clogged drain. How is this possible? Sometimes smaller issues are just a sign of a bigger problem. How can it cost this much? Smaller issues are signs of a bigger problem. Hmm. Yeah, and this is why I'm looking at this video. Because in this video, Darman is about to try to tackle an issue, which is animal cruelty, in a kind of little way. He's trying, he's trying. But it's a sign of a bigger problem. He doesn't understand that vegetarianism is not the answer. It, vegetarians are actually the enemy of vegans. Watch. I know you probably need to talk to your husband to pay for all this. Sexist. But let him know that it is not safe for you guys to be in this house the way things are. You're lucky you called me. And now I need to get started right away. Despicable. Uh, can we talk about this in the kitchen? Sure, of course. See, the, I got the water to drain. But the disposal, it's completely busted. At first, I thought the disposal was the only problem. But take a look down the drain. What's in there? 
bacon grease. Bacon grease? Mm-hmm. It's really bad for drains. I know when you're doing the cooking, it's easier to just pour it down the drain, but this is the price you have to pay for not disposing of it correctly. Nobody should have dead animal body parts in their house at all. No eggs and no bacon grease. No, 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 don't do that. Because, now let's talk about the eggs. In the egg industry, what happens is they kill the little baby boy chicks at just one day old because they'll never be able to lay eggs. So never bring eggs into your house and never bring any other dead animal body parts ever. Just don't. Animals are here for us to take care of. They're here on the planet with us, not for us. I can't believe this. There must be something I can do to... Hey, hey, hey. you can't just go into a man's tool bag without permission. He's got a point there, but we know that he's hiding something, and she knows. Why? Are you hiding something in here? Such as bacon grease? Um, well, I can, I, I can explain that. Mm -hmm. You see, uh... Uh, I, um, I use that as a, uh, Cut. um, a, a lubricant yes. sometimes for, for, for my tools or, um, Go on. um, for, for, um, uh, Meanie. Actually, don't bother. I think I can explain. Because last time I checked, this is a vegetarian household. Okay, so this is the part of the video that I really woke up and I was like, what? Vegetarian? Darman, like I told him to almost a year ago, I said, start making your videos with vegan characters. Show good vegan people, not always people who are making fun of them. Don't be vegan phobic, be vegan fantastic. And this is his attempt to be vegan fantastic, but it's not really working because he totally misunderstood. Or he's one of these people who's really evil at heart, who wants to make themselves seem good. Like, oh, I'm vegetarian. Meanwhile, you're still paying into the industries that hurt animals. In the dairy industry, for example. See, vegetarians don't eat animals, or so they think. But indirectly, they do. Because in the dairy industry, baby boy cows are still murdered. Because humans want to go underneath the mother and steal her milk. So the baby then... What are you going to do with the baby? You're stealing his milk. So they murder them because baby boy cows will never grow up to be able to give milk. Now you might think to yourself, well, can't they use them for their sperm? But no, it's all very deliberately structured so that only certain sperm is taken from the males through sexual assault and inserted into the females, more sexual assault. Then the babies are kidnapped, there's murder. Every single bad word, terrible word, things that are against the law happen in the dairy industry and in the egg industry. Let's continue. There is actually no meat in here. Do you see that? No meat in the fridge. This is what Darman is trying. I think, I hope he's a good guy. He's trying. Check it out. Oat milk. Darman is showing us oat milk. That's so good. And he's got pickles, he's got oranges, a bunch of different veggies there. You see a uh, yellow pepper and a red pepper in the background. I can't see what that is down there at the bottom. It looks like beer maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, most beer is vegan. And then there's some salad here, lettuce. So Darman is making a temp. I don't know what that is in the jar above there. It could be lemon juice. Let's hope. Um, but anyway, you know, he's trying. I hope he's trying. I think he's trying. Oh, dance break. Everybody up. Come on, Darman. It's only a minute. I hope you just stop vegan phobia. Thank you for being vegan fantastic. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for standing up for what's right. We're heading towards a vegan world in thank the you, end. Thank you. Thank you to everyone regardless of religion, skin thank color, you. and also to LGBT. To all who see that saving the animal is the right thing to do Thank you for being vegan fantastic Thank you for opening up your heart Thank you for dancing to this simple song of peace It's a wonderful way to start Thank you for being vegan fantastic Thank you for being a friend Thank you, thank you, thank you for standing up for what's right We're heading towards the
All right, let's continue. So I will ask you again, how did bacon grease get inside my drain? All right, so you see, she's actually truly vegetarian, but she does she say anything about the eggs? She's only saying, how did the bacon grease get inside my drain? Well, um, I, I'm not sure. Um... You know what? Forget it. I'll just contact the owner of your company and tell him what happened. Or better yet, I'll contact the California State Licensing Board. You do that. You can tell them what happened. Now, you see, this is the thing. You've got a woman here who's doing the right thing. But do you know what somebody like Sniper Wolf would do? She would call her a Karen. Now, she's talking about talking to the managers, to the directors of the board, and to try to make this world a better place. But this is the problem with the world, is when you have good women who actually speak out, they're not honored the way that they should. But then again, is she really a good woman? If she still pays for the rape, the torture, the confinement, the kidnapping and murder of innocent animals in the egg industry. Now it looks like she doesn't buy dairy products. We don't know, she could still have cheese in there. But you know, Darman, it's kind of a start. You know, you're heading in the right direction. But if you stay in that direction, that's the wrong direction. You started off trying to talk about people buying oat milk, that's good. You're talking about her not having bacon grease in her house and no dead animals, that's good. But watch out for the eggs. Don't get down the wrong path. Eggs are not vegan. And say what? You have no proof I did anything. Yes, I do. Because fortunately, at least one of you is honest. She told my son to text me, and he told me everything. Summer? Good. You're going to pay for this, you little rat. Oh, I would have known regardless. You see, there is nothing actually wrong with my sink. The garbage disposal just needed to be reset. And there's nothing wrong with my roof, either. I sprayed that with my hose. There is something wrong with my tub drain. However, nothing that an $8 bottle of Drano can't solve. And not some $18,000 scammy handyman. Confused. Why would you call us if you didn't need our help? I own a construction company. And contrary to what you said earlier, my husband works for me. He's actually out of town because he's negotiating with my tile vendors in Italy for a big job I just got. I'm still not following. I am so busy, I need to hire more people. But it's really hard to find someone trustworthy. So I set up traps around the house to see if I could find the right guy or girl for the job. Fortunately, I think I found her. So I have this very large project for you, if you're interested. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Oh, no, you can't, you can't hire her. She's just a trainee. Mm -hmm. and don't think for a second I'm signing off on your hours. Oh, don't worry. I'll just contact Ron, is it? Mm. I'm sure he'll be happy to sign off on all her hours, especially when he finds out what a big job she got for the company. And, and don't worry, I'll make sure to tell him all about you as well. Yeah, tell him. No, 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 please, don't do that. Get him. I really need this job. You should have thought of that before you tried to scam me. Now, if you don't mind, get out. Yeah, get out. Now. Animal abuser. People abuser. This is all your fault. I tried to tell you. Your actions always have a way of coming back to you. Yes. 
your actions always have a way of coming back to you. And that goes for you guys at home who are still eating meat, dairy, and eggs. Those of you who are still wearing fur and leather and wool, all your actions will come back to you. You might not see it tomorrow, not next week, but you will. That's just the way life works. All right, I have some signs to show you here. Look, eating animals is unnecessary. And therefore, if you do it, you are an animal abuser. It's time to be vegan from now on. By the way, did you know that the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics confirms that it's healthy to be vegan? At any stage of development, you can be vegan. Little kids, teenagers, adults, grandparents, everyone can be vegan, even pregnant moms and lactating moms. You just have to eat healthy foods. That's it. And if you're worried about protein, don't. You will never be worried about protein if you eat enough calories. That's all. It's so simple. Like this girl, this young lady, be the change you want to see in the world. Be good. Because vegan means love. It just means trying your best at all times. Now, Darman, if you see this, I want you to start having vegan characters on your shows. Okay, this is a sort of a, it could be a start. Some people start out by becoming vegetarian and then they realize, wait a second, I'm a total hypocrite because I'm putting double the cheese and double the eggs in all of my meals. And I was one of those hypocrites. I was vegetarian and I didn't realize how awful I was. And there's that period where you start to realize it, but you're still cracking eggs, you're still eating eggs because you're just so used to it. But then you've got to get over the cognitive dissonance because your head is telling you, ugh, you know, maybe it's not that bad and I'm still a good person. But the reality is that it is bad. You cannot be a good person if you're still harming the chickens, the baby chicks and the baby cows. Vegetarians are the enemy never be vegetarian. They're even worse than meat eaters in the sense that they know what's going on, but they don't go the next step. Many meat eaters aren't even aware of the important documentaries, such as Dominion. If you haven't seen it yet, click on it and watch it. It has changed the lives of so many people. If you watch the documentary Dominion and you come out of it the other end without having cried, and without deciding that you're going to be vegan, something is seriously wrong with your heart. Now, I don't think that Darman has seen the documentary Dominion yet. So if you are watching his videos, please write down in his comment section that he should watch this important documentary. I mean, there's so many other great ones like Earthlings. That's another one. That's the one that I watched that hit me on the head that made me really just cry my eyes out. Dominion came later, and to be honest, I could barely watch the whole thing. I was going in and out of the room. I was seeing it at a public showing, and I just couldn't stop crying. So I had to be out in the hall, and I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't keep watching it. I was already vegan at the time. But anyway, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for you know trying to get a hold of Darman. If you can get a hold of him, you know, type in his comment section, share this video with him, tag him because he's on the right path, but he cannot think that that is the path to stay on. We gotta veer them, a serious turn, because vegan means love, okay? Love is a verb, love is actions. Let's get them into action. Coming up on screen are gonna be a bunch of other videos. Click on them, be curious, follow that vegan teacher, and thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed. Thank you to my Patreons, and thank you to my teaching assistants who are here always in the comment sections trying to educate people during the premieres. You guys are just, mm, I just love you all. And everyone else, give yourself a big hug if you're trying to be vegan, a big one, because I know that you have to go against the whole of society, and you gotta love yourself. Feed yourself healthy vegan foods. Okay. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in these mugs, I have this one that I already showed you. And there's also this one, which we just went over about what happens in the egg industry. Look at these cute little guys. Okay. Don't eat chickens and don't um, hurt the little baby chicks by buying any eggs ever. Because that's what happens in the cycle of violence. Okay. Love you guys. Bye for now. Look in the mirror and sing this song
sing, I will be brave, I'll be vegan from now on. Look in your heart and sing this song. Sing, I will be brave, I'll be vegan from now on. Eat only healthy vegan things. Never eat anyone's arms, legs, or wings. Don't eat anyone with ears or eyes. Make sure when you eat that nobody cries. Break cold habits you had for years. Save animals from so much terror and tears. Train yourself to always be in the mood to only buy healthy vegan food. Right now.